Hi, welcome to the 12 by 12 Junk Journal Challenge of 2024. Today we are doing something totally different, not junk journal related. Well, maybe, maybe in a weird way, but we are going to be making a trophy. That is right. My friend from Scrapbook Sage, Dawn, she participates in like a scrap contest or a scrap challenge every year. She loves it. It is called the Calvin Ball and it's super fun for her and tons and tons of you guys play this in the junk journaling and scrapbooking community. So um, each day there are new ways that you can get points and so every year she gets like 10 trillion billion points and um, they never have any type of a trophy or reward or um, award or anything and so I feel like if she's always winning she should get a trophy so I've been wanting to do this for a couple years and the first thing I did is I went to tons and tons and tons and tons of trophy shops here in India there are trophy shops where you can get tiny trophies giant trophies glass trophies metal trophies engraved trophies and what I did was I got a mixed media trophy here and um, I decided I needed this trophy that has all of these blue arrows that gives you points and stars on it that gives you points during the contest and I wanted to put um, these cool Calvin Ball photos on it and I wanted to make sure it had scissors on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those Calvin Ball photos and I'm going to pick out the cutest ones and I'm going to back them onto acrylic blocks which are the same ones that we use for stamping and i was able to get those off amazon india and we are going to um try try to put them on acrylic blocks without having any type of weird residue or like coloration so i looked up a bunch of ways to do this and they said to use this gel which is just super glue so i'm using a super glue gel and it's the one-time use one so it doesn't get all clogged up you use it one time you throw it away it's a tiny bit and hopefully this will work on the acrylic blocks i'm going to try to just put it test it like put it in the corners of the photo like this but do not glue hair onto your photos under your acrylic block that is not good um all the different shops I went to always gave me this really crazy look every time I said I need to have scissors a book and scissors on this trophy because she junk journals and they <laughs> the looks on their faces was like what are you talking about <laughs> yeah so every time I got the scissors they were like I'm so sorry madam we cannot do this so I decided I was gonna buy the kids scissors and I'm just gonna spray paint it gold and I'm going to glue them on somehow so I have left this on the acrylic box for a few minutes and it looks pretty good. You can kind of see the gel, but it is good enough. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use that on all of the blocks. And I don't know if we're gonna use all these blocks, but I have them, so I want them ready so we can see how they look and we can decide after um, we have them all ready, like how many we need to use. We're gonna let these set and dry for a minute while we try to figure out how to use the rest of this glue to get this book on here. And this is actually taken off of another trophy. It was um, on there like by a rod with some screws and my husband helped me take off that bolt, the nut and bolt, and so I could add it to this trophy. So I was in the trophy store looking at all the trophies, trying to decide how to tear them apart to add them to this main trophy so I'm just gonna go for it and see if this gel holds the plastic to plastic 
It also has like a coating of this gold paint. So if the coating comes off, we'll just have to re-glue it. But I have lots, so it's okay. And also I noticed that this gel is super easy to take off with the wipey. So if I put too much, it's just coming right off of this wipey. But it is super gluey on your skin. So do not use your skin. It says that don't use your skin to move things around. Use the tip of the gel. These are magnets. I really wanted to put photos on the junk journal like we do with our normal junk journals. Um, but I decided it would be so cool to have these magnets in case she didn't want them on the trophy itself. She could just put them on the fridge. So here it's like um, two, $2.50 to make photos in a magnets. And you get extra points one day during the challenge, the Calvin Ball challenge, if you use pets and it one day you get extra points if you use hearts and one day for stars so i tried to do everything according to the list of points that you get for things i cannot figure out where my other photo went i know i have another photo of her cats and they have fallen somewhere behind the table please hold Okay, I have found it. So I really like threes. I like anything that I'm decorating, I want to do in threes and fives, you know, one threes and fives. And so I'm trying to figure out how can I put these up here to look cute. And I don't like anything straight. I, I like everything cockeyed. I like everything silly and goofy and weird. I just think it looks better that way. So she can always move these if she wants to. But we're going to use the super glue gel and then we're going to use the um, double sided sticky mounts. So I have a roll here, which is pretty, I think it's like a medium thickness. I, I thought it was thick until I saw my other mounts, which are double the thickness here. But I'm going to try to put it right here behind each of these where they're like sticking up. I can see that there's empty spaces behind each of these in those spots so I'm going to glue them in the spots that are touching the trophy and then the parts that are up in the air I'm going to use the different sizes of foam mounting tape to kind of fill in that space even if it doesn't have the glue on it I think it'll keep it more secure because there'll be no empty space behind where that gel is trying to um, you know hold it on even though that's hanging in the air the mounting tape to me feels like it's not very sticky, this thinner one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put gel on that too. I thought that it would be super sticky like the ones you put on the wall to hold up your TV or whatever, as seen on, on TV, but they are not. So I'm gonna still try to put a tiny dab of glue so it doesn't overflow. And then these ones feel super sticky and this one has like a really, really big empty space over here so I'm going to try to get these to stay in there as, as best I can with what I have. Remember where you're not supposed to touch this gel? Yeah, okay. Now it is really stuck to my skin, but that's okay. It's just gonna hang there for a while because I'm on a time crunch here. I'm trying to get all this this foam behind there before the gel sets because then I can't, won't be able to pick up the cats. And now I feel like I can't pick them up already because it's setting. And this gel is stuck to my finger but do not panic nobody panic we're just going to use a simple trick of nail polish remover and you just put it on a paper towel and wipe it off and there you go so nobody panic it's not a problem okay next we need to set this up so we can see how these little blocks look they're all dried and set and we need to cut off these tiny little edges and then the reason why I'm in this weird camera view is because I really can't tell how I like it unless it's sitting up like this. And um, I think that I wanted to put three on one side or 
possibly put one on each side um, of this wooden stand or maybe put two on each side but then I still have to fit the I like this three so cute but I still have to fit the um, the scissors which I need to spray paint but uh, and okay so if we put two like this I have to pick the two cutest which I am not good at I'm very indecisive so I already <laughs> had to pick four pictures now I have to get all six pictures down to my two favorites so okay if we put it like this it's super cute and here are my scissors they're all dried so I think that looks great up there I, I decided we couldn't tell how it looks unless we have it above us like she's gonna see it on a shelf I wanted to get that feel or a perspective from below and if I take these extra photos I could also put those along the rim but I don't want to cover up all the stars I still want it to look like a trophy I it's hard to know when to stop I'm gonna use the double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of these scissors and that back blade and I'm going to try to super glue them in without dropping it and getting glue everywhere and hopefully it holds I know it's not very much to hold on to but look even without the super glue it is standing so I think we have a good bet and I think three's too many so we're just gonna do these two and this tiny little scissors here on the bottom so it has the best hold I'm hoping that gluing these acrylic blocks is going to be the easiest thing because it is a flat surface on a flat surface. <laughs> so um, I chose, oh no, I dropped it. I chose these two. I thought they were super cute. So these are the cutest because it's friends and me and Donna are friends. So um, I know I really want to get this adventure one in there, but it's just too much. I think it has to be the same height as the scissors to be really even. So even though I want to add more, I'm just going to have to stop. So I'm gluing these straight onto the trophy's base with the gel glue, the gel super glue. This glue adheres instantly on these acrylic blocks, so be careful because you cannot move it after you <laughs> put it on there. Um, and all we used for this was, of course, you need your pieces of the trophy. And then we have our gel super glue, which I got from the Dollar Tree, and I have my photos, acrylic blocks, and our foam tapes. And there you have it. We have our super cute trophy that I get to present to Don when I go to Oregon tomorrow. I decided I would hide the trophy in plain sight and not say anything and see how long it took for her to um, notice that I like moved around her <laughs> decorations. Um, so here we are, we're working in her craft room and um, it took a couple days and it was super fun keeping the secret and I kept being nervous like, oh my gosh, she's going to find it while I'm gone. I'm not going to be able to see her face but i got some super cute pictures and video of her each day while we were playing together do not forget to check the description for all the links to the other artists in this 12 by 12 challenge it's going all 2024 they have tons of amazing ideas and they are all fabulous see you next time